ready to spend like 100 years with me? Yes. Oh, look how cute we are. Okay. Hey guys! What's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome back! So as we promised last week, we told you we are going to be sharing our part 2 series of our anniversary month. Some important stuff. And today we are going to be sharing what we have learned in this one year of being married and what we will try to improve in the coming year. Yes. So Giuseppe is going to be doing all the talking. Really? Yes, baby. Because I'm the one that needs improving. <laughs> mm, is that like a hint? And uh, so, what 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 did we learn this year? Well, basically, getting married, you are on the cloud, and everything is jolly and everything. But there's gonna be a point that you need to continue with life, right? It's all jolly good, you get married and everything, but soon in reality since it knocks on your door, you just need to go to your same old, same old life. Yeah. And, you know, you just need to plan everything together. That's it. And, and you're now married, you're no longer in a relationship, when you're in a relationship, you know. Things can still slide when you're in a relationship. Yeah, there's always this plan A and B, you know, like, okay, I want to do this, but, you know, you never know what happens. Yeah. But I don't have that feeling anymore. So all the plans that I make in my head, they all include like we, you <laughs> next to me. And so. vice versa, of course. Like it's not just about you anymore. Like when we are in a relationship, of course, oh you're in a relationship. It's like you don't really take it serious. Like of course we took it serious, but on another level. On another level. Like this one now is like marriage. We're like like an institute together. Like everything we do needs to be okay by each other and that's something that we've learned to like work with in this one year because yeah that's something we also really needed to get used to but we've walked we've really like walked towards it and what we have really worked and improved this one year is just support each other because sometimes like it doesn't always go as you plan and obviously we've seen We've seen our share of it in this one year, which we obviously don't want to share or go into details. But it's been, I like when I look at ourselves, I'm so, I'm so blessed and I'm so impressed of how we carried ourselves in those situations and how we supported each other through it. So sometimes, like, wow, we actually did it and we did it pretty okay. Like the support that you that you give out to your spouse like you don't you don't even think about it because right now this is somebody that you vow to love and to support and to be there for better for worse and trust me those times will come everybody has everybody have their times and and we have been like we have been fighting for each other and and for sure for sure like our support system is something that has it's so solid. Yeah, it's solid. So solid, and we what and we build it actually like even yeah. more stronger this this twelve months. Keep supporting each other's goals, of course. That that doesn't change within marriage. It just you know you marry not only each other but you also marry each other's plan, right? So her plan of life now involves my plan of life, and it's intertwined into one big plan and so you know and that involves family that involves friends that involves finance that involves everything mm -hmm. so you just have to find a way to find a middle ground with both of you are satisfied with and keep moving forward and it doesn't need to go that fast as long as you keep moving forward developing and, and looking uh, positively into the future also something that we really like worked on this year is our communication like like we always say communication has always be has always been the foundation of our relationship but i think we actually like up our game since we got married it keeps on getting better it keeps on getting better because right now like i said it's it's another level it's like different when you're like married 
and those they're like times that you just need to communicate and like we have situations like we I'm living at just we're living currently at Giuseppe's family home and do like things happen and there's like you know but yeah. but there's always like we always communicate about it and we talk about it and we resolve it and we get it out out of hand and it's done like but the minute you don't talk about those things those little things become like bigger things so but that's something we uh we've, uh, we've we, been good at it and we still we've been good at it good at it and keep we've kept really uh solid in yeah. this um one year most definitely yeah so yeah those are like actually that's how we pretty much experience our one year of marriage like it just has its ups and down and obviously we, we can't share everything but just the fact that we just wanted to share tell you guys that we have been together and we fought for each other and definitely going to continue to do that because marriage is not all about roses and not all the time no. not all the time and compromise and compromise and trying to understand always compromise and embracing differences yep that's it yeah do you think we can improve what we can improve in our marriage right yeah for so these are points that we want to take in the year two yeah and then at the end of year two we're gonna see if we achieve them yeah we're gonna set goals, set goals. and then this time next sorry this time next year we're going to do this video again and see if we have achieved any of those goals right okay um so what do we want to improve for next year mm -hmm. maybe we have been so occupied with our daily lives that we didn't do those little things that often that we used to do like our standard dinner dates going to the movies you know we used to go to the movies a lot we enjoyed going out to dinner but life's got so incredibly busy that we've just been doing other stuff and I kind of miss doing that so I think what we should improve is to have just a few moments in a month where we just keep doing the things we used to love yeah definitely I totally agree with that we like that's one thing we've slacked on this year like yeah. having like really time for us like time to like pamper ourselves or just time for us to be just yeah with the both of us and just going have fun out maybe because, for a weekend trip yeah or, of course you know uh, getting married ain't cheap guys so we uh, we didn't really do anything much we had uh, we had one trip that's it yeah so our goal for this for this day, next year is to travel more mm -hmm. to explore more and yeah what bring else? everything in the higher gear yeah th that's it definitely that's our goal to just give herself more like pamper herself more pamper yeah pamper herself more that's our goal because we i think sometimes we're like really really hard on ourselves also so yeah. that's something we will want to do you think we should improve what do i think we should improve no i think i think that's like something i think i agree with you like what we need to do more and that, that I remember also maybe i'm sorry for interrupting it's okay, but, but uh you know just you know now we're one year together right but you also know if things go well everything uh then if, if you're 20 years together you need to keep the fire burning right in the marriage right and that does not happen when you don't fuel it so you need to keep watering that plant so that's why we what we said like if you want to keep the, the, the or you keep improving you need, you to, need to keep the passion alive and uh, where I think that we should improve not, not only the quality time that we spend with each other but also be uh, attentive more to uh, each other yeah. Be a little bit more attentive, a little bit more romantic, a little less practical. Right? <laughs> a little less practical a little people. Less practical, <laughs> a little bit more attentive, surprising each other again, like in the puppy phase of the relationship. 
shouldn't forget to like sometimes open the door and find the other person giving you a surprise unexpected he's just giving you guys hints that's what he's doing like this is still giving a hint i feel like right. another hey, like got a surprise bring out to dinner hey i'm gonna surprise bring out to a concert hey babe look i bought new lingerie we used to do that a lot though guys we need to we need to get our mojo back babe yeah we've been too busy with work we need and to getting get all the back. finances online again after i think our goal for this year is to finally find something let Giuseppe find what he's really, really his passion is yeah guys i've just been working my butt off day and night and i haven't really been pampering myself yeah we need to like find your goal like like your passion what do you love doing because obviously you all know what i love doing and he supports me like one thousand percent and we haven't been able to like really figure out what he loves to do obviously he does he has a job but no, I do like my job, he don't do, get me he wrong. Does, yeah, but, but there's like, uh, yeah, my little passions that I have, what to do with them. I don't have time to, to nurture those things. Yeah, so that's you like. You need to nurture them more and see what comes out of it. Yeah, I think we can work on that this year and, see, be cool. and see what happens. Mm -hmm. But, anyways, guys, I think that is the video. Do you have anything else to add? I'm looking forward. Yes. So another year. Oh my god, I cannot wait how I cannot even ima I can't imagine how fast this year has gone by. It's crazy guys. Like this time last year I was planning my wedding. I was like just two weeks before our wedding. I was freaking out about the weather because the weather was like our whole life evolved around the wedding for three months or something. Uh... Every weekend. We know actually we do we, we we this not Pampering ourselves started before the wedding. Before, the, before wedding. the wedding. This is actually like almost three, two four, years ago. Three, three, four months before the wedding, we didn't do nothing anymore. We it spent just, every weekend. We loved our wedding. On the wedding. Yeah. And we didn't pick it up. So yeah. next year, everything is about picking it up again. Yeah, definitely. Like I, I still cannot. I can like comprehend how fast this one year has went, gone by so fast. We're looking forward to more amazing years yes. are you ready to spend like 100 years with me yes oh look how cute we are okay <laughs> no i'm really really happy so yeah so that is the video we are going to go we need to tell them we're going away for a weekend for our anniversary yes. so that vlog is gonna be up soon when we are there so probably in like three weeks when it's actually our wedding anniversary that's gonna be like a part three of the anniversary. wedding anniversary month. month yes so that's it anyways thank you guys so so much for watching and like we always say make sure to like share comment and subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed yet yes make sure to turn on your notification mm -hmm. so you don't miss any video from us you don't want to miss you don't want to miss it because there are exciting things coming yeah. that's it thank, you, thank guys. you guys and we'll see you guys in our next video bye bye